from Joshua. I was completely shocked to find out what's been happening in the north of England with regards to the mass rape gangs there. I am simply unable to grasp it. The police in many of these areas knew this was happening and purposely did nothing for decades in some cases. My question is, at what point is the citizenry justified in taking matters, i.e. punishment, into their own hands? I get that vigilantism is bad in a working society, but this case strikes me as society no longer working. If the police justice system is failing this miserable to the tune of definitely thousands and perhaps tens of thousands of raped and abused 11 to 14 year old girls, does the average citizen have a duty to put a stop to that extra judicially? Thanks, Josh. You know, I get asked this question numerous times, sometimes about uh, abortion as well. The, The problem is you're not thinking far enough ahead. What happens? What happens after you take the law into your own hands, right? When, once you've knocked down the law, there's a great line in the play, A Man for All Seasons, in a movie where he says, if you knock down the laws uh, to get at the devil, what happens when the devil turns around and comes after you and there are no laws to protect you? And that is the problem. The problem, this, this is a, what is happening in England is a serious uh illness in the society. There's a serious illness in the society when the police are covering up the rape of children because they don't want to seem to be anti-Islamic, because this is mostly an Islamic problem. And there's a serious issue, and that issue has to be dealt with, and people have that have to have the courage. And in England, you can go to jail for having the courage to do this. You have to have the courage to stand up. You have to have the courage to vote for the people who will stop it. You have to have the courage to uh, to shout about it and be out there shouting about it all the time. If you take the law into your own hands, what happens then? Then your country is gone, and th- you know then you've essentially started a revolution. And the thing about revolutions is they almost never work. The American Revolution worked mostly because it was more of a civil war than a revolution. It was it, two sides of England breaking away from one another. It, this is a disaster, this thing that is happening in England, but if you take the law into your own hands, the disaster will be compounded. And I think the same thing is true of abortion. Once you break in to an abortion clinic and start uh, shooting people, then you've become the killer. You've lost all your moral authority. You've lost the argument. Unless you are going to burn the government to the ground, once you become the killer, you have lost the argument and the government will reconstitute itself and go right back to doing with what it was doing without you because it'll carry you off. You got to do it the long way. You got to do it the hard way. You got to do it through the systems that are there and you got to do it because it is really a disaster.